Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the code process problem permutations and primes. So in this problem we are given an integer n and we have to check like primarity of an array. Okay. So like there is defined some max. So let's see what is max. Max is something that is a collection of these many integers and the smallest positive integer x that does not include in that collection okay so like suppose if you have one two three so max will be here four okay that will be max the smallest number which is not included in this array so like suppose if we have two and three then max will be one and another thing is that like we have to check the primality so what is primality? Primality is something that this smallest number must be prime. So then our subsequence will be primal. Okay. Got it? So this is the thing. So let's see some example. Or like basically what we have to do. Like we have to determine a permutation which can result into maximum. Maximum number of primal arrays okay so this is the thing so let's wait and see some example so if you can say when n equal to 2 so that means we have two arrays okay two permutations only one one two two and one okay this is the thing. Hmm. So what we can do, like one time we can choose this one, this one, and the whole sub array. So like if we choose this one, we will get the smallest sequence, smallest number that will be two, and that is prime. So and if we choose two, then it will be one. If we choose one and two. So it will be 3. So how many times we got prime primal number, prime number basically 2 and 3, 2 times. So and is there possibility that we can get more times? It is not possible in this case. Okay. So like if we choose this sequence also, then we will get the number of uh, primal arrays 2 only. So we can return anyone and if we see that like in the second example n equal to 1 we can't do anything so just return it as it is so now we will discuss this example third example third one is important example so here we will also understand how can we solve this problem so like uh, what are the two smallest prime numbers like our target is to get the maximum prime numbers so 2 and 3, these are the smallest ones, okay. So what's our goal is to separate them like at far position, like uh, 2 in the starting or 3 in the end and uh, 1, 1 will be in the middle. Why we are keeping this in the middle? Because like if 1 will be included then 3 will be our answer, 3 will be our x. So it will be a prime number. If this is not included, included, if we keep it in here, then these many sub arrays will be not counted. That is the issue. So, like what we can keep, like we will keep here 4 or we can keep 1, 5, any order doesn't matter. So, what is needed, like separate them and keep this in the middle. So, like if you consider 2 and 2, like 1, 1. So, the least positive number is 1, okay, then 2 and 4, it is also 1, 2, 4, 1, it is 3, 2, 4, 1, 5, what is 2, 4, 1, 5, it is also 3, then 2, 4, 1, 5, 3, it will be a 6, okay. 
so let's start from here 4 we will get 1 4 and 1 we will get 2 4 1 5 we will get 2 4 1 5 3 we will get 2 ok then 1 for 1 we will get 2 1 5 we will get 2 1 5 3 we will get 2 then 5 we will get 1 5 and 3 we will get 1 ok so then 3 only we will get 1 so let's count how many we get prime numbers 3 3 this is prime number this is prime number so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so we get 8 prime numbers and that is the maximum possible so like what you have to do like just keep 2 and 3 apart and remaining numbers as it is wherever you want and keep one at the center that will solve your problem just return that array and you will get the right answer hope you understand the solution like this video subscribe the channel thank you